Yeah, good evening, VK2 uh, BJM on uh, ATV channel 34. You around tonight, John? VK2 uh, JCM, VK2 JCM. You around, John? VK2 TJM, VK2 JCM. MVK 2JCM, VK 2TJM. How are you going, Carl? The picture's looking uh, a bit better tonight. I'm actually getting quite solid colour off you, which is uh, not the usual with the uh, receive problems I've been having lately. So it's about uh, half been up nothing new lately. Just had a look at the monitor. My picture's coming back quite fine. And, uh, that's about all I've got to report. VK2JCM, VK2TJM. Back to you. Okay, John. Fine. Yeah, well, you know, you, you've got, uh, you got a heap of colour there now. You've got a heap of colour. It's uh, coming in good. This little system I'm using at the moment, the, uh, the rider kit from VK, uh, VK3, I'm very happy with it. It's working well. I'm cheating now, I must admit. I'm using a... Uh, I'm using a prop amp and uh, you can wobble the levels around and it's, uh, it's working good, working much more good around. All right, okay, we'll see your horses around. Um, VK2 uh, KLS, if you're around Cliff, would you like to see if you can put a picture up? VK2 KLS. VK2. Hey, good evening. Hey, good evening. Any trains being black and white there, Colm. Uh, trust that the pitch is not too bad. And uh, I'm using a BATC board uh, based on an English design. Uh, currently no sound. So, uh, and not in a real top location for, uh, for ATV. So uh, that's probably uh, the reason, I suppose. About 30 watts output uh, average power on a, a standard uh, UHF uh, watt meter. So there we be. Now I wonder if uh, uh, Brian's around PK to KML, PK to KLS. Yeah, good day, Cliff. And good day, Cole. And uh, John, nice to see you up uh, at this time. Yeah, uh, just for your information, uh, Cliff, uh, we're uh, we're only about a kilometre from the repeater. That's probably why our uh, signal's fairly strong into it. Uh, we're running the uh, the rider kit here with a uh, 15 element uh, Yagi transmitting on 426 and uh, we have two phased uh, 579 receive antennas. So uh, we're getting quite well here and uh, we've worked, uh, most of the fellows uh, in Sydney there, uh, Simplex. Uh, we're in Springwood and uh, which is uh, probably about 35 miles west of Sydney and uh, as I said earlier, uh, only about a kilometre away from the repeater itself. All right, uh, I did see uh, I did see John VK two A two U around earlier. I don't know whether you're still out there uh, at all, John. Uh, VK two A two U, VK two A two U, VK two KML. Go, ahead, John. Very good evening to everyone there. Um, I thought I had the TV sound turned down enough to avoid that. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm also using the BATC Exciter here uh, with an older version of the VK3 soundboard uh, all completely home brewed. Um, <clears throat> had troubles with the power supply uh, to power the whole thing and I had to re, re, um, remount everything on the outside just to keep it cool. The, um, the uh, output stage uh, certainly draws a lot of current for only 10 watts out but I get the repeater here about uh, P5 most of the time. Um, running a pair of um, 11, at 11 element beams on transmit and a commercial channel 35 beam on uh, receive. Um, okay, uh, back to Colin, VK2JCM in the group, VK2ATU. Okay, Tom. Yeah, we, uh, I, uh, I must admit, I, I, saw, I saw your picture earlier on tonight and I liked that little uh, test pattern that you, you had up that homebrew type colour bar. Uh, might actually stick it back to you in a minute, we'll go around the group and stick it back and you can uh, just show us a bit what you can do with it. Um, it's quite good. I like uh, like uh, um, Brian's uh, 
to test that, and that's, uh, that's pretty good. If everybody had a computer that they could uh, chuck up and uh, put to air, it'd be fantastic, but, uh, you know, who's got all the money? Anyway, it's, uh, it's all good fun. It's good to see you blokes up tonight, too. Uh, it's pity it was uh, so late in the evening, we could have got a few earlier on. Uh, Ray, 2 uh, putting a fantastic picture into the repeater lately. Computer, uh, 2 ABH, he's, uh, he's working well. I noticed uh, Peter's picture was uh, probably 200% better. The problem with, uh, with the Sydney area, and uh, I think quite a few people around here would uh, uh, back me up on this, that we have a hell of a, a problem in the Sydney region for uh, ATV because of the uh, just the, uh, the general layout of Sydney, it's up and down uh, all over the place. So our repeater is up in the Blue Mountains at Springwood, which is almost due west of uh, Sydney. And uh, a few of the fellas like Brian and uh, who else is up there? Paul to uh, uh, Jay Peel. Um, they, have, uh, they don't have much trouble, but uh, down here, like Cliff, he's, uh, he's in a hole firing a, a picture up into the repeater through a couple of houses and trying to just generally get out of a, a big hole. But the majority of us work well. I've got about 70 odd kilometres, 70, 75 kilometres to fire into the repeater and I'm just using the rider kit and a 15 element uh, Yagi. Uh, but we do the best we can with what we've got. Uh, a few things are on the drawing board to upgrade the repeater. And, uh, once this all happens and we find ourselves uh, another site, it uh, looks like it might, uh, it might go well. Anyway, um, I'll put it back up to, uh, to John, TJM, and you can stick it back up to, uh, uh, to Cliff and we can go around the group for a second and we'll just put up those colour bars too when you get around uh, John and also Brian. VK2, TJM. VK2, JCM. Quick enough on the button, it's VK2JCM, VK2JM. You know, you're aware of the uh, location I operate. I'm at the base of the Blue Mountains in Penrith. And uh, fortunately, I'm in a high enough location to look back and to be able to work your simplex with a P2.5 or so. But uh, the repeater does make a reasonable difference. Plus, the fact we all can point our antennas like we're doing tonight. You imagine waiting. 60 seconds between over through when the turn antennas around and look at each other. Uh, I'm running an MTR54, which is a two-way radio which has been modified. What I've done with that, I've taken off the PA stage and just running the driver stage. I've mounted a uh, 2SC1306 environment supply voltage to the final and I'm actually modulating at that level, which is about 15 watts with a high level modulator and that goes into a HL60U amplifier unfortunately the transistor in it doesn't exist and I'm running an MRF646 so I'm probably getting around 20-25 watts peak out of it for sound I'm not using a uh, 5.5 meg in a carrier sound I'm running a Kenwood TR8400 which has been modified it's actually operating on uh, for 31.75 megs and I've modified the switch on the front so when I push it in it gives it the uh, 50 to 75 kc deviation to be able to uh, produce sound. So I run about 2 watts, 3 watts out of that set into a 6 element Yagi point up to the repeater and uh, it works quite well. It's actually fortunate that I uh, don't suffer frame buzz problems as well because of the two sets being separate. Dipping on 444, I don't, can't just switch one set. But, uh, your, color, your color's come back very well tonight, Colin. I think I remarked before how the color was dropping in and out. When you adjusted it, the uh, color's quite stable. So I'll throw it back to you, John. How are you? Um, your color's looking quite well, too. The pictures look pretty good. VK2ATU, VK2TJM. I went and uh, did it again. I changed microphones too, you know. I thought I had a call with this one. 
anyway, um, yeah, I loaded up the uh, computer program that I've been working on. I happened there? Going on there? Um, I've had a go at modifying a, a test pattern program uh, for the Commodore 64 to produce produce a cut color bars, and in the process, I come up with a very unusual result. Um, uh, I'm I was quite surprised how it, uh, how it turned out and I showed the boys this evening and uh, Colin mentioned before he'd like me just to uh, show it. Um, but uh, I will um, I will uh, keep working on it and produce the traditional colour bar but you might be interested just to see this effect. Yeah, we've got a bit of pulling there but uh, I accidentally came across that result just by getting a few line, line numbers out of place. So it's amazing what you can accidentally uh, discover. And uh, also, Colin, I'd like to say uh, uh, as well, it's, it's the best I've seen you coming through this evening. You've got fantastic colour, very strong. Uh, I don't know whether you've, um, you've robbed the bank and brought a new camera, but uh, fantastic colour coming through. BK2JCM and the group BK2A2U. Okay, yeah. Sure. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, listen, Dad said pro, send money. Uh, listen, uh, Brian, are you still around? If you are, can you come up and put a uh, put your test pad up, the one that I saw the other day, which I, I think that we ought to give you ten dollars for and copy it because it's terrific. VK2 uh, uh, KML, VK2 JCM. Yeah, right, Colt. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, here it is. It's uh, fairly conventional compared to. Uh, compared to uh, VK2 A2U's test card. Uh anyway, that's the uh, test card. I hope everybody uh, saw that okay. There wasn't too much of a problem. Uh, there is a filter, however, that's got to go in between the computer and uh, the transmitter so that uh, it doesn't transmit out of band. But it's still got to go in, so it's not used all that often. All right, well, look, uh, I'll say goodnight to everybody because I've got to toddle off now and uh, do a little bit of office work. So uh, I'll pop it back to you, Kyle, and uh, I'll say goodnight to uh, to John and John and uh, also to, uh, to Cliff down there. Glad to see you've got a picture up, even though no sound yet, Cliff. Uh, even though it's black and white, it's uh, certainly better than nothing. All right, so it's, uh, it's good night for me, and uh, I'll say good night to everybody else. Back to you, Cole, BK2JCM, BK2KML. Yeah, BK2KML, BK2JCM. Yeah, you're fine, uh, you're fine, Cole. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I'll, I'd, I'd like to say uh, to Cliff that in the, uh, what, two weeks, uh, that you've been uh, playing with uh, the television. You've done pretty good, from where you are, anyway. I've seen what, you, uh, what you're using, and... Uh, uh, Mate, you're lucky to have a picture, and I, I reckon uh, Top Mark's here for getting up so far. All right, good night all. Um, John, TJM, VK2, uh, TJM, VK2, KML, VK2, ATU, VK2, KLS, and uh, anyone else watching. Uh, good to catch up, and VK2, CLD, he's, uh, he's out there listening and a host of others. Good night, VK2, JCM, in Sydney, Queen. Okay, uh, Cole, I'll catch you later, I'll... Uh the same, I'll wander upstairs. Catch you later, Brian, John, Cliff, and uh, covers all your call. Catch us later, VK2 TJM signing off. Yeah, okay, fine, John. And uh, good night to you there, Cole. And uh, hopefully next time I come up, I'll have uh, have a bit of colour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's not too bad, I suppose. And uh, yeah, nice picture from you, you did, um, John. Okay, I'll sign clear, and uh, I think I'll uh, sort of hit the hay. I'm going to get up fairly early in the morning. Uh, so VK2K was signing clear.